Benjamin Norton is absolutely correct on this. Reminder that Tucker Carlson applied to join the CIA, traveled to Nicaragua to support the CIA's fascist Contra death squads, is the son of a head of the CIA propaganda front. I don't know about that part. Constantly lobbies for war on China, supports colonialist Monroe Doctrine in Latin America. In 2006, white supremacist neocolonialist Tucker Carlson said, Iraq is a crappy place. Hold on. How can I keep stay? How can I stay being mad while this is happening behind me? That's crazy. In 2006, white supremacist neo-colonials Tucker Carlson said, Iraq is a crappy place, place filled with a bunch of semi-literate primitive monkeys. He did say that. I have zero sympathy for them or their culture where people don't use toilet paper or forks. They can just shut up and obey. While meddling in Brazil, making propaganda for fascist Bolsonaro, Tucker Carlson complained, under Biden, the Monroe Doctrine is no longer enforced, praising the 200-year colonial policy. He also spread new Cold War propaganda, fear-mongering about Cuba. He's also the mainstream figure I know of the advocate for... Oh, God. These guys are so fucking stupid. Oh, there's this too at NBC. CNBC anchor Hadley Gamble is accused former NBC Universal CEO Jeff Schell of sexual harassment and sex discrimination in a complaint to the company her lawyer says. Yeah. Um, Tucker Carlson also, this part is like actually not, uh, heavily popularized for some reason, but Tucker Carlson literally went to, I'm pretty, did he go to Fallujah with fucking, uh, with the, uh, with, with the, the Academy dipshits? Pretty sure he like posed with them. Yeah. No, not hungry. That part is fine. This is like, this is like a extremely rare Tucker uh, Carlson actually like people don't know about this I don't know why people don't fucking talk about this too much yeah here it is here is a young tucky boy with literally bloodthirsty murderers inside the not so secret armies of operation Iraqi freedom for a moment I felt what is to be American uh, uh, what is to be an American civilian contractor in Iraq he wrote this originally in 2004 about 100 year, yards into Iraq, we stopped to pick up weapons. A half a dozen Kurds and white Citroëns met us in a trash strewn lot over the border from Kuwait. There were no morons in our convoy. These were American civilian contractors, employees from one of the private security companies in the U.S. government has hired to pacify and reconstruct post-war Iraq. The group was led by Kelly McCann, a 45-year-old former Marine officer and a security expert. Tucker Carlson wrote this in 2004. Back when he was saying... Bro, the mental illness for you to know this is insane. Listen, motherfucker, I know my enemies really well, okay? Especially when they are dangerous propagandists. Especially when other people are running around. <sighs> Wait, what the fuck? The bitches set me up? Wait, what? The fuck? Anyway, McCann and I have been friendly for a couple of years. When I asked them what exactly civilian contracts were doing in Iraq, a subject about which there has been much speculation, but relatively few published facts, he offered to show me. Yeah, he said that in 2011. I know, I saw. Um, you know this, but not that Tucker's dad was the head of Voice of America. No, I did not know that part. I did know that Tucker Carlson wanted to be a CIA officer, though. I know that he tried to be CIA. So uh, that's one thing that I, I knew. Anyone claiming Tucker is anti-war is a useful idiot. He's just a neocon 2.0. The only reason he criticized NATO's war on Russia is because he wants war on China instead. Tucker lamented if Russia ever joined forces with China, American global hegemony would end. Tucker and the far right's anti-war narrative is that Russia is white, capitalist, and Christian, and therefore the West should try to recruit it to wage war on China, which these racist imperialists see as an Asian communist uh, atheistic threat to Western civilization. This part is true. They don't give a fuck about Russia. They think that Russia is another like imperialist power in the West that is actually uh, Christian, just like the good old boys are here in the West. They think Russia is like white enough to be considered Western. 
Especially because they correctly identify that Russia is not a fucking communist nation anymore. So they don't give a fuck. They're like, yeah, these guys are rugged, individualistic uh, capitalists that uh, we put into positions of power. They, the country is an, uh, you know, an oligarchy run by our kleptocrats, our Western-facing uh, you know, oligarch kleptocrats that we put in positions of power uh, as we were reconstructing the, the, uh, you know, the USSR to our liking. Okay, so why the fuck would we care if they are like, uh, you know, fucking over Ukraine or whatever? They don't give a shit. They think like, oh, and they're also anti-woke. So that's great. Um, here, let's take a look. If Russia ever joined forces with China, American global hegemony, its power would end instantly. You'd have the world's largest land mass and largest natural gas reserves allied with the world's largest population and world's largest economy. So a Russia-China axis would be not just more powerful than the United States, but much more powerful. It would have the scale to control a lot of the world's economy and trade routes and raw materials. It could project military force that, posturing aside, we actually don't have the power to stop. If Russia and China ever got together, it would be a brand new world, and the United States would be greatly diminished. Most Americans agree that would be bad. If Russia ever joined... Yeah, I mean, this is like typical neocon, anti-multipolarity shit. Like, um, Setting aside real issue is dangerous propaganda. I really fucking hate his voice. It's so annoying. I know. I'd already gotten to the part to answer... Anyway, so... I mean, he's over here hanging out with fucking contractors. These are the guys who literally did out and about straight up war crimes and massacres, okay? The idea that Tucker Carlson is a good person. Tucker Carlson just got booted from Fox News, so it's worth recalling the most memorable interview he did. One he didn't air because the guests exposed him for what he really is. This was with Rutger uh, Bregman, famously, where... Uh, he, he had some fucking takes on him too. Uh, Tucker Carlson is not the, uh, the, the darling that the anti-imperialist, uh, anti-fucking military state darling that Glenn Greenwald claims he is for some fucking weird reason. 